Welcome Aries and Cross Watchers. This is Mystic Intuition bringing you a general love reading. Please know there are always timestamps in the description box for those of you that would like to skip ahead. This is for the Aries Collective Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. All right, let us get started. What is the energy here for the collective? Ten of Swords, a painful ending, potentially even a betrayal for some of you. And neither one of you have wanted to give up. This may be something that maybe has like been kind of on and off again, even for some of you. And it's like, you're, I mean, one, one or two things. This, I mean, this could have been something that's been very on and off again. And it's like no matter how much, how many times it's ended, it's been revived. The difficulties were still there in the connection, in the situation, but you still kept pushing through anyway. Or some of you are trying so hard right now to kind of move on from some kind of painful separation or ending. Or both, right? Let's see what additional messages here. What else should we see? No, understand. Really unhappy with how the situation is right now. Some of you may have a child with this person, with your children involved. Uh, I do see a significant amount of Earth energy here. So, I mean, there definitely could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn involved. There could be a water sign involved, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I have the King of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Four of Wands. Alright, I feel like this is a specific kind of read and it's obviously not going to resonate for everyone, so please don't try to force this to fit. Um, but for somebody here, I feel like there's a marriage involved, whether you're married to this person or you're married to other people, you know, however that resonates for you. King of Cups, I feel like this is somebody who... How do I say this? I... I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna read it like it's your marriage because that's how I see it but again it could be reversed and this also could be cross watcher energy that I'm picking up on okay so you just flip the roles if they're reversed I feel like this person made a mistake a, a big mistake I feel like things into the two of you and you've both tried so hard to make this relationship work and I think that you have a lot of fears because this was your happily ever after like you do deeply love this person or you did and I feel like this king of cups is really remorseful of their actions or of how things played out and I think there's like waiting it's like what's gonna happen here it's this queen of pentacles decision is that you is that them male or female okay it's like will she take them back She's, you know, she's receiving an offer, but will she take it back? You know, I think she's thinking about the children here. King of Cups, you know, this is somebody who loves very deeply, who feels very deeply, but they're not always the most expressive verbally. A lot of times they, they prefer to show you how they feel rather than tell you. And I think that that can sometimes be part of the issue here. For the Ten of Pentacles, though, it does feel like there was a home, a marriage, a family type thing, a lot of money involved. Yeah, I mean, there was a, a, a formal commitment of some sort, a promise of some sort. Maybe the two people that live together, okay? This even could have been like a twin flame or a soulmate connection. Okay, so let's start. Ten of Swords. Something came to a close, and it just wasn't just a, okay. This isn't work. This was not the kind of thing where it's like this is not working out anymore. I think we should see other people. This is, it's over, it's done, and it's painful. Whatever happened here, it was dramatic. It was intense. It's painful. There's a lot of hurt here, and I think that I think that somebody was betrayed. And now someone can't stop thinking about whatever it was that they did. And they want to try to win their person back. Okay. 
it's you know for some of you if you weren't physically married to this person you could have been in a relationship with them for a significant amount of time or even had a family with them or lived with them or that's what you guys had intended maybe they even made promises of commitment and you know you spent you know a significant amount of time building a relationship being with this person maybe, maybe for some of you even like a spiritual marriage that four of wands energy but regardless there was some kind of betrayal here something that didn't it's like, no matter how hard you fought, no matter how hard you tried, you know, it's like wounded warrior. It's like you keep getting back up, dusting yourself off, trying to push through, Let, let's make it work. Uh, you know, there's been plenty of upheaval and challenges, but let's just keep trying, keep pushing, keep trying to make this work. Because neither one of you wanted to give up on this in the past, and I feel like, you know, there, there's... I'm getting really emotional with your reading. Um... So, you know, I feel like somebody was holding back, okay? I feel like somebody was not communicating, maybe even ignoring, ghosting, just kind of being... They were not expressing anything. And for some of you, I feel like they were confiding in other people. You know, whether that was a romantic relationship or not. It's like there were other people they may have been talking to at your relationships that were directly talking to you. Um, some of them may have kind of gotten lazy or even depressed. Um, or you could be feeling this way, okay? No, not if it, I'm not saying you're lazy, but I'm saying someone could have not did the work, right? Uh, your person may have, you know, stopped trying so hard. Stop trying to show you how much they cared about you. And it, and it fed into all of this anxiety and like being in your head. And for some of you, okay, and this is just for a handful of you. Because again, this is general. I mean, this might, this might, reading, this reading may resonate for a hundred people, a thousand people, right? Two people. Some of you may have actually physically caught this person cheating on you. Or talking to someone. Because I feel like somebody is still trapped in that moment or what happened, like reliving the past. Like no matter what they do, they can't seem to kind of shake this or get past this in their mind. It's like they're constantly going back to it. I think I'm getting like really emotional and a bit choked up. So some of you are like having a really hard time right now struggling with this. Um, but like Eight of Swords here, it's like, stuck trapped for some of you okay i have the, i have a couple of my like i said this is general for some of you you know you could be married to this person like i said or some of you this person's married to someone else and they are trying to go back to make that relationship work because so, somebody felt trapped somebody felt like they couldn't escape like they couldn't get out maybe they ooh. Somebody may have tried to make it work with the third party. They were caught. So something ended really painfully and now abruptly they went back to their karmic trying their best to make it work. They could be really scared about money and children. You know, this like somebody could potentially have a lot of money invested into a relationship, into some formal type of commitment. Like I say, so you just place yourself in which scenario that may that may resonate for you. But it's like somebody caught doing. Got, got, I'm getting a lot of crosswater energy. Somebody got caught doing something they were not supposed to be doing, and now like there's these big decisions and a lot of anxiety and fear. Now this person may have ghosted you. Things ended. We do. I do see potentially communication here. Um, with the world card, it does talk about distance, potentially even travel. Um, this can be online communication over the internet. I don't know why I'm getting somebody could potentially be a performer, like a singer, a dancer, or somehow in the public eye. I mean, that's obviously not for all of you, but some of you, this person's like seeing your pictures or something, or they're seeing something that you're doing, that you're putting out there, and it's like prompting them to like communicate with you that's for something for all of you um but it's something about presence or social media or something like that 
but I also do see communication here. But I feel like that this message is going to fill somebody with more anxiety. Like someone is saying, I still don't want to give up. I can't stop thinking about what happened. You really hurt me. Or I still want to make this work. I don't, what are you thinking? You know, that it's like, it, it, it could be even something as simple as, hey, how are you? I've been thinking about you. And now this person is just so stuck in their head because it's like, do I revisit this? Do I stay on course? Do we try to make this work again? Can we make this work again? Is it over? Because there's all this fear and anxiety about the choice of the decision that's possibly potentially being made. I think that somebody did want to try to have a good run, a good try with a third party to, to build something with them. But I think that because things kind of happened abruptly, okay, things unfolded abruptly, right? Someone didn't have time to prepare or plan and it's like their whole world came crashing down when they hadn't even really had a chance to kind of think about the calculating the risk and figuring out how things would work or get things set in motion or in order the right way. So it's like they backtracked everything and thought, if I'm going to lose the karmic, it's going to be on my own terms. It's not going to be taken from me. It's going to be on my own terms. So someone is going back to trying, trying their best to make that work. Now, I feel like you feel rejected, disappointed, ignored. I feel like you feel like this is outside of your control. Like there's nothing that you can potentially do yourself to to fix this, to, to bring this back in. You know, it's like the ball's in this person's court. It's So you may feel helpless at this time. And please don't take any offense to it. I'm just here to read the cards. If it's not your story, don't get offended. That just means that there's somebody here watching this video right now that needs... They're going through a really difficult time and they need this message. Some of you, if it's if it's you who was in a relationship with this person, they're begging and pleading for you, for you to give them another chance. And it's like you don't know if you can do that. It's like as good as it sounds because you do have strong feelings for this person. There's a lot of damage that's been done. They let, you know, something come between the two of you. They, they let this infestation come in and it's like plaguing your thoughts. Every, every waking moment you're thinking about this betrayal, how much this person hurt you. And you may still love them. That, that Unfortunately, that does not just go away. The pain can replace it, you know, but that love is still underlining there. You can lose all respect for someone, but the love is still there. And that's where the pain sets in. That's why there's... You know, heart can't be broken unless there's love in it. But I do feel like right now, regardless of where you are in the situation, you're coming through as the Queen of Pentacles, so you could have strong Earth in your chart towards Virgo Capricorn. But again, it could be any sign. I mean, I have a little bit of everything here, but Queen of Pentacles is somebody who's very male or female, is somebody who's very grounded, very honest, very dedicated, very hardworking. She's resourceful. She's independent. She's strong. She holds her pinnacle, she holds her head high, and she knows her value. And she is not going to give this pinnacle to just anybody. They have to earn her. They have to deserve her. Some of you may actually be mothers or fathers, right? Maybe you have children to look after, a household to take care of. And you're thinking really hard about that because with this page of pentacles, I feel like a couple of things. Some of you are really worried there are children in the mix. Children who could be vulnerable here, who could end up getting hurt because of this mess, because of this betrayal, because of this situation, and afraid that they're going to, right, get their heart broken or get their expectations up too high. Some of you are fearful that this person may already have a child with someone else, that they're being childish. You would be fearful that this person's not willing to offer you enough because the page's pinnacle does not deserve the queens. It is not a fair exchange. You deserve a king, right? And some of you are hoping though that you're going to hear from this person with some kind of serious offer. Some of you may be hoping that this person has contracts in place to make things happen here. But the outcome energy shows us the seven of pentacles, which shows us waiting. So I'll be honest when I tell you, I feel like there's no movement in the connection as of right now. And again, time energy is fluid. Things can change, right? Let's pull additional cards. Almost. There we go. You know, but, you know, next week we may want to revisit this and see you know, how things are unfolding. But 
deep in your heart you already know the answer do what feels right secret admirer someone has deeper feelings for you than they are letting on so somebody here is being challenged to look inside and really think about what they want i think that somebody got spooked i think somebody got scared and so they resort they went right back to their karmic to the person that they were intentionally possibly already considering leaving uh, when they, they still have love for you they may be denying it they may be ghosting you they may be hurting you whatever the case may be and we don't justify that crap here i don't want to see squat in the comments about well they're a piece of shit and it doesn't matter blah 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 blah, blah. I, i'm just here to read the cards okay the thing about it is is you know what you think you know what you feel but you're here for a reason you're here because you don't know about this person what can you expect from them? Are you wasting your time? What do they think? What do they feel? The closure you've been seeking. The answers you've been seeking. The information you've been looking for. That's what we're here to bring you. Um, so it's always up to you. You choose to do it. I'm just here to give you the information. I think that this person does love you. Despite treating you like shit. I think this person does want to be with you. But I think that this person got spooked. They got caught. They like they were losing control and so now they're trying to make amends for that you already know what the right answer is secret of my someone has deeper feelings someone may be going against their heart's deepest desires and you're still just waiting to see what's going to happen that doesn't mean that you won't i think you'll get messages but i don't think it's right now okay it's not right now it, you, you're going to get some kind of information from this person they may be saying wait for me there's a message that says wait Whose reading was this? I did another reading this week that was really similar to this. I don't remember. I want to say it was Sagittarius or Leo. All right. Let's see what messages your person wants to share with you. I don't feel worthy of your love. Yeah, I can see that. I'm reminded of you constantly. And I feel like these also were messages that came through in another reading. One more, please. I am working on the dark parts of myself. Yeah. So, yes. This person, they know that they don't deserve you right now. They know that you deserve more. They know that they hurt you. They betrayed you. Um, they're constantly thinking about you. Everything, Every waking moment, They're every time they go to sleep, they're dreaming about you. They're thinking about you during the daytime. Everything that they're doing, they, they resorts back to you. They're constantly being reminded of you. Everywhere they look, they see you. And they are trying to work on this dark part of themselves. And I do feel like there's a lot of love here. And I feel like there was such strong potential here. But something, somebody wasn't playing fairly. And somebody here decided to go back to try to work on something to try to make it right. And I feel like neither of you wanted to give up on the connection with each other. You still don't. But there's a lot of wounds here that need to be healed. And can you trust this person? I mean, it's going to be up to you. They are truly working on themselves. They do truly love you. But again, ultimately, it's your decision if you can trust them or not. Your, each of your situations will be a little different. This is general, right? So that's what I have for you. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing. Thank you for those of you who do generously send in donations. It is greatly appreciated. As always, I wish you strength and many blessings. Bye-bye.